Hi there, Chris Chapman the Cap, Motor Legend. Today we're going to be talking about a new boot from TCX, from the Italian brand TCX. It's a boot called the Submachine. This is the Submachine boot from the Italian boot brand TCX. It's got to be admitted that Submachine is a pretty aggressive name for a motorcycle boot, but this is a boot that unashamedly takes its inspiration from the kind of tactical boots worn by elite and special forces, so guys like the SAS, SBS, Navy SEALs, and so on. It's a boot that simply screams tough and rugged and military. At the same time, it shouts almost as loudly, stealth. Now, if that isn't actually an oxymoron, I don't know what is, but let's move on from that. The boot itself is made from a mix of suede and a material like Lorica. Lorica is just a brand of synthetic material, but the plastic bits here, that will be something like Lorica. The suede bits, that's actually obviously a leather. You've got counters, and by counter, what we mean is a protector. You've got a counter in the toe, so that's a very strong toe. You've got one in the heel, and you've got protectors also in the ankles. Boot's got a waterproof membrane. It's a waterproof boot. In this case, the membrane comes courtesy of Gore-Tex. Now, Sometimes we think it's not worth paying for a Gore-Tex membrane in a short boot because a short boot is never going to be quite as waterproof as a tall boot. And that's because what happens in heavy rain, the rain's going to hit the ground, it's going to come over the shaft of the boot, or if the bottoms of your trousers get wet in heavy rain, that's going to soak in to the boot or pour into the boot or run into the boot over the shaft. But anyway, this boot, there's no alternative. With some TCX boots, you get the choice of a Gore-Tex or a non-Gore-Tex boot. This boot only comes with a Gore-Tex liner, so that's the way it is. The good news is that you can be sure that this boot is gonna be as waterproof as it can be. Changing gear, you've got a strong plastic protector here on the front of the foot. You've got a sole that TCX is called a ground track sole. Now, ground track is actually a name that TCX have made up. It's their own in-house sole, but it's a tough and grippy sole. It's an oil-resistant sole. It's perfectly up to the job. <clears throat> Inside the boot, in the sole, there will be what TCX call a Z-plate shank. A shank is there. You put a shank in a sole to give it extra rigidity, and in this case, it's about transverse rigidity. So if something were to run over the boot, it stops the boot collapsing. It gives it greater strength across the footbed as it were. The boot is nicely padded inside. You've also got these concertina panels here around the back of the boot. So this is a boot that's going to be nice for walking. It's going to be comfortable for walking in. It's going to be comfortable for riding in. And if you find yourself one day having to breach an embassy, I think these boots are going to be up to that job as well. We quite like this as a little touch. This is again a nice military touch. You've got this elastic strap here with this S hook so you can use that to adjust the fit of the boot. But what this is also intended to do is to, some people get nervous about laces coming undone, but basically you would do your lace up and then you would put the end of the laces, the bows under that elastic strap to keep them in. In the recent James Bond film, what's that film called, Graham? No Time to Die. No Time to Die. James Bond wore a pair of Danner boots, black Danner boots, so a little bit like this. And personally, we think he would have been just as well off in a pair of these. Probably in the bike scenes, he would have been even better off. So in conclusion, we like this boot. It's a beautifully well-designed boot. It's different to most bike boots. It looks incredibly strong. And I think it's the kind of boot that's going to be able to take all the abuse you can possibly throw at it. At £239 to £239.99, it's not a cheap boot. But remember, there's probably a premium in there of about £30 for the Gore-Tex membrane. So even though it's not the cheapest boot on the market, I think it's going to be popular. I think it's going to be a great boot. If you'd like to see more TCX boots, visit the website motorlegends.com. If you want to learn more about the particular boot that we've been talking about today, then if you click on one of the links on the screen, sometimes they're up there, sometimes they're down there, that will take you to a dedicated page on the website. Now, when you're there, you can check out the spec in a little bit more detail. You can check availability. And obviously, if you want to buy a pair of these boots, you can do that there and then. When you do buy from us, we try to make the process as simple, straightforward, and risk-free as we possibly can. There's no delivery charge on any item of protective wear that you buy from us. Returns are totally free. And what's more, we give you a full 12 months in which to decide whether you do want to return something to us. We have the best price promise in the motorcycle business. Now, John Lewis was rightly famed for it's never knownly undersold price promise. We go one stage better. If you can find anybody selling anything that we sell at a price that is lower than ours, 
we will beat that competitor's price by a full 10%. Now, there are a few terms and conditions associated with what we call our price beat. So if you are going to price beat us, go over to the web and you can check out what those terms and conditions are. Nothing particularly onerous. If in future you'd like to see bulletins from us about new products, then if you go to the website, top of every page there's a piece of script that says newsletter sign up, click on there, within seconds you'll be in business, in future you'll receive our email bulletins. However, if you would like to get your information, if you would prefer to get your information videographically, that is to say in this form, then we would be simply delighted if you want to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel, and you can do that by clicking on the button below. Now, this is 2021. In 2020, we gave away to one of our YouTube subscribers a Mutt 125cc motorbike. We had customized it a little bit to look like a Steam McQueen desert sled. This year, we've gone a little bit up market. We're going to be giving away a 250cc Fantic Caballero Scrambler. But we are not going to be giving it away to a YouTube subscriber, but rather to somebody who follows us on Facebook. So if you want to stand a chance of winning this fabulous little bike, and we're going to be giving away just before Christmas this year, then go over to Facebook and obviously follow us. Finally, I'd like to make a play for our fabulous little shop here at Moto Legends. It's a small shop. We're based about a mile away from the centre of Guildford, a mile from the railway station. And even though the shop has a smallish footprint, as I've alluded to. It is attached to our warehouse where we have more than two million pounds worth of stock arranged over three floors. Technically, that makes this the second largest motorcycle apparel shop in the UK. But we think we are far more than just the amount of merchandise we have here in the building. We're all about service, we're all about personal fitting. If you want to check us out, visit Trustpilot. We have the highest ranking in the business. When you come and see us, we'll only serve you the finest Italian Illy coffee, or we'll serve you proper Yorkshire tea in a proper teapot. And who knows, if you're lucky, you might even get to sample one of Sean's mum's delicious shortbread biscuits. Shaped like a motorcycle, by the way. Anyway, this has been Chris. I hope to talk to you again soon.